Simon O'Brien has a landline in his office, often used for conference calls. When UK security experts tested it at 1am in the morning, an unknown and untraceable number dialed in at precisely the same time. This is what spooked the Commission. I think it was a, a very, very strong suspicion, probably stronger than some of the other threats, and probably harder to explain away. The latest disclosure in today's Sunday Times suggests one reason why the Commission initiated a security sweep. Today's paper says GSOC called in the UK security firm after it appeared a senior Garda officer had precise information from a confidential investigation report then being finalised by the Commission into the activities of drug dealer Kieran Boylan and his dealings with the Garda. But in a statement today, the Garda Commissioner Martin Callanan again insisted there was no surveillance of GSOC and that surveillance activities are subject to oversight by a High Court judge. Commissioner Callanan confirmed he did raise concerns over leaks on sensitive cases with GSOC. And last week, Mr O'Brien indicated at the committee that he too would be disputing a story today on the reasons for the security sweep. I'm very clear what was in my mind in terms of the investigation. And I'm also, uh, having chatted to my colleagues who actually launched uh, and went out to tender for the security firm's uh, work, uh, they do not concur uh, with the sort of rationale that's been put on these documents. I, I put it there as a warning. I suspect if documents are out there, I suspect I may have a very, another very early Sunday morning. Relations between the Garda Ombudsman and Ungardi Shiakane have been fraught from the outset. But the investigation into Boylan's activities and his dealings with the Gardaí strained relations even further. Two things are certain after a week of conflicting and confusing stories. The UK security firm that investigated these offices discovered two potential high-tech threats. What is not certain is where those threats came from and whether they were ever part of a sustained attempt to intercept the phones used by staff here. The Garda Ombudsman, whatever its initial suspicions, accepts there is no evidence of Garda involvement. The Garda Commissioner is blunt. No member of the Garda Shikona was involved in surveillance of any kind in relation to either the premises or the members of staff of the Garda Shikona Ombudsman Commission. Ever since Watergate and the tapping of journalist phones here during the Hohi era, surveillance is a taboo issue for the public. 21st century surveillance tools are powerful, powerful enough for even some of the world's leaders to fear the capacity of the US National Security Agency. The Ombudsman Commission, the Garda Commissioner and the Minister for Justice are all agreed on one issue. There is no conclusive evidence that the offices of the Ombudsman were bugged. But today's developments will ensure this story continues to gain political traction. <laughs>